This ramp is at 26 and a half degrees. On a mountain bike, it's quite easy to just roll down it and stop anytime you want. But we're gonna keep making it steeper today and there's gonna come a point where you lose traction or go over the handlebars. Today, we're gonna figure out exactly what that angle is. It works like this. Three riders, myself included, are gonna take turns rolling down the ramp. They're gonna to come to a full stop at the white line and then they're gonna continue down. Both wheels have to make contact with the ramp and it has to be a stop longer than a second. I think it's just gonna get to that point where it's so steep, it's just not gonna keep traction and it's just gonna to wanna to slide, you know? My goal is to not go over the handlebars or fall on my face. My goal is to probably slide down the ramp at some point when we start losing grip. So you think we're gonna lose grip at a certain point? Grip tape can only hold so much and rubber tires can only grip so much. So at some point, one of those is gonna start giving out and you're just gonna go for a little slide. I think we're gonna have tons of grip. The back wheel is gonna start going up in the air before anything else happens. Clearly 26 and a half degrees is no problem for any mountain biker, any mountain biker. Let's make it a little bit steeper. degrees is almost 60% grade. If you were going down a 30 degree mountain bike trail, you would be cooking. Complete stop. So that was only like not even four degrees more that felt kind of different, didn't it? When I dropped in, I was like, oh, I'm feeling some slippage now a little bit. I'm starting to get more worried about the slippage. You guys are both right. What do you think, like 35 degrees? Yeah, I think when you say that four to five degree increment, we should be good. Yeah, all right, 35 degrees. Trigonometry, 12.2 feet. That's some pretty impressive trigonometry I did. All right, 35-ish degrees. Complete stop. Yeah, that was a complete stop. Oh yeah, no problem, 35 degrees. That's starting to feel way steeper though. Should we go straight to 40 or should we try like 38 or something? I think we should go smaller increments. Smaller yeah. increments, right? And I was feeling some slippage on that one. So like 38-ish degrees, 38-ish? Yeah, the same for 38 and see where we're Okay. Going. So it's worth noting, we're all on different bikes. That was by design. I'm on a cross country bike, Mangler's on a trail bike, and Joe is on a downhill bike. I bet you can guess which one is designed for the steepest angles. Body position matters too. Both Joe and Mangler are taller than me, Mangler much more so. And so he can actually get way behind his bike, but he's also up much higher and that might put his center of gravity over his front axle before us. And so, I don't know, we're gonna see. There's something a little bit sketchy about this. I can't put my finger on it. Oh. That counted, yeah, complete stop, you got it. We have a rainstorm coming, so I'm gonna get aggressive on the cuts here. So now you might be wondering what happens when we do reach that point where we can't stop. 
That's why I have good riders with me. Both Mangler and Joe are better riders than I am, and they know to let go of their brakes. If you let go of your brakes, you'll just roll down, and it'll be like a rock roll or a quarter pipe or something, and so we're not stupid. 42 and a half degrees. We are starting to get proper steep. This is the last one that we can walk up. Ooh, I lost a little bit of traction there. I think I'm gonna go for a round two. Ooh. Let me see if I let out a little bit of tire pressure. I had this pumped up pretty good. Okay, so I have better traction now, but I gotta get further back. I couldn't hold traction. Do you care to try? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be hard to get to 45 degrees, but I thought we would get closer to 45 degrees, honestly. What do you got your tire pressure at? I don't know. I would go down a little lower than that. Yeah. It helped me a lot, but it didn't help me enough. Dropping in. Oh, come on, Joe. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, come on, Joe. Yes! <laughs> okay, so Joe, because of skill or maybe the bike length, he's the last one standing. So we're going to try and increase it a little bit and see how he does. This is 46 degrees. I don't think you're gonna be able to walk up this. Goodness, Joe. <laughs> Bottom bracket, you're good, you're good. He stopped. He came to I think stop. we found the limit, but his back tire came up. I feel like I can like get it. I just need to like get my BB over that edge without it. Like it just throws me off a little bit. It makes me a little nervous, but. If you feel comfortable trying again. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. And indeed the grip tape had ripped as Joe tried to control his speed. As Joe made more attempts and it continued drizzling, the grip tape ripped a bit more in spots where it was overlapping other grip tape. This was possibly a fatal flaw in our already unscientific experiment. I could have. I felt like I could have. I did the grip tape job, whoever did the shoddy grip tape job. Uh, As the rain moved in and we packed up, I couldn't help but feel that Joe didn't get a fair chance. And so I pulled all the grip tape off of the ramp, put one layer down the center so that it's not overlapping anything, and I even folded it over the edge so the tire can't pull it up as it makes contact with the ramp. We're gonna try and get redemption. Forty-five point eight. We got to make this a little bit steeper. Forty-six point two. Joe really wanted to try this, but he had a procedure done to his hand, so he's not going to be riding for a few weeks. But I'm going to try a different bike with a slacker head tube angle. I figure it's more traction than anything else, and maybe Joe's tire compound was the factor. Or maybe Joe's just that good. That bump down onto the ramp does not help. Pretty much nose wheelie the whole way down. I gotta get further back and I might be able to make it happen. I also noticed a little bit of loam on the ramp. I did not clean off my tire sufficiently. If you shift your weight too far forward, you go over the handlebar, and if you go too far back, you unweight your front tire, and then it doesn't have the traction. And so, there's really this balance you have to achieve. 
Let's just make it just recklessly low. All right, 45 degrees. So this is where rise is equal to run. This is 100% grade. This is just as steep as it is flat. About the same thing happened. All right. I'm calling it. Joe stopped at the steepest angle. I think it was 42.6 or something like that. Maybe he could do 43. Maybe he could do 44. We could test this with different tires. We could test this with different bikes, different riders. We could spend all month running hundreds and hundreds of tests. But what do you think a simple, better test would be? What could we do in the future to actually learn something useful? The field we shot this video in belongs to Mills River Brewing, and they're huge supporters of cycling in my area. They have great food, great beer. Please support them if you're in South Asheville or Mills River. Thanks to Joe and to Mangler for coming out and risking your lives on my contraption. I hope you somehow learned something from this video, and if you didn't, I hope you were at least entertained. Thanks for riding with me today and I'll see you next time.